So it's just been raining for days and days and days and I have not mowed this since Monday. Today is Friday. I would have normally mowed this one or two more extra times. And so it's finally a sunny day today. So I'm gonna take the 1600 with the basket, run around the edges, do the whole lawn, and then do all the trimming. The trim passes all the way around, do the tight little areas that the rider cannot get to. And then, and then I'll get out the big bad machine the real master 3100d that thing is awesome it lays down some sweet stripes but we finally got some good weather so let's get to it feels good folks memorial day weekend 45 degrees chilly so i'm just running through my trim passes here done all my trim passes on this section going to do my trim passes over here it's kind of long cutting off about a quarter inch there folks so I just want to do all my trim passes and then I'm going to get out my girl and go for it. So this Greensmaster 1600 is a beaut. It gives such an awesome cut. I love it so much. Could not be a more welcome sight. The sun is out and it's time to mow. I've done all my trim passes and I'm going to get out the big guy and mow this sucker. I was so tempted to get out the 1600 and just mow the single doubles for the weekend because that is a fantastic look. Slow and easy. Gotta be careful around the corners because the tire tears up the turf. You can see right there the tire is torn up the turf. It's that inside tire that does you in. gonna mow this in this direction my favorite way to mow just done two passes here you can see those here and you can see I did not get it straight at all I'm gonna try my luck again I'm gonna go at it again and see if I can hold the wheel super straight super firm and try to get it nice and straight. So I've got this pass here, I've got that pass there, and I need to get that thing straight. So somebody emailed me actually giving me some good tips and they were some good tips. So I don't have any tips for you though. That's Alan Haynes job. So just ran over that stripe again. It looks better. It's not great, but it's kind of difficult to hold the wheel perfectly straight. I don't know how they do it at the ball field. It's probably that their fields are super flat. I do have some undulation or little bumps and stuff here that's probably causing that. I'm gonna hit this stripe up again and see if I can get this one straight now. Whoa, look how freaking awesome that is. It's beautiful over there, got the nice, uh, snow-capped mountains, all these cars coming down here for Memorial Day. One camper, two camper, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cars coming down over there, folks. It is going to be a busy weekend, and they are coming. I've got to make the lawn look fabulous. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Cut it, cut it, cut it. I can't. Whose is this? Yeah, the shit had. Yeah, I know. So is that like a 74? Yes. For I real? I want it. 
What? I want it. Okay, go buy it from him. He won't let me. Yeah, he sells everything. He won't let me. He'll buy, he'll sell it to you in like a month. He okay. only keeps things for like a month. Okay, I'll wait for the month then. So what we got here, a 1974 Honda? Goldwing or? No, no, no. Elsinore. Elsinore. 74 Honda Elsinore. Ooh, two look how beautiful. 250. It's a two stroke? Yeah. Oh, it's that thing's a. 1400 miles, all original. That thing's a beaut, folks. What did he pay? I don't know. What, you didn't ask him? I don't know. Come on. He won't tell me. They sell for about three grand. Oh, I can find out. Sell He's got to go over there. Okay, we're going. Go. We're going. So that one I was able to get pretty straight. You can see the wheel marks pretty evident there. So I have a question for Connor. Okay, so did you get this real master so your wife would like you more because you're not mowing the lawn as much? Ah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm gonna be out here regardless, dude. Okay. Right. I mean, yeah, I bought it, but like, I probably spent more time just doing these few stripes than... Boy, it looks so good. I think you could putt on this. Mm, I don't think so. It looks that good. 5'8". So it's kind of a slow going deal. I'm trying to get it just right. The lawn is still a little bit wet from all the rain. And so I'm trying to get the st stripes just right. I'm trying not to overlap too much. And I'm trying to get them straight, but it is seriously really wet through here. This is kind of the low area where the water kind of always pools. Huh? Yeah, folks, don't kid yourself. This is the real deal. I'm really out here mowing the lawn and I'm really working. I'm really looking forward to getting this project here completed. And then once this patio is in or this parkway, I'll be able to drive the mower up onto the parkway and just make my stripes and just mow around. It'll be so much easier that it is a little bit difficult to get up against the flower bed here. That's a little bit difficult. So take a look at this section, guys. This section right here on the north side of my house was some serious winter damage no green up and now it looks great so all of a sudden my lawn is shrunk in size it's kind of hard to get the uh, stripes straight when i don't have a huge area to mow so i see the incentive with this machine see that section back there where that camper is get rid of the camper get rid of the truck get rid of all the junk grass ever heard of it Smooth, easy, nice grass with this machine. Boom, 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 slam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Mo job. Yeah? Mo job. Not something else, mo job. So this section actually still looks pretty poor and I had a lot of damage through here with the dogs and with the snow mold and this section so it still does look bad but it's getting there so this is the part that it gets really difficult to mow because we've got lots of trees and obstacles and obstacles suck when you're mowing i think everybody knows that don't plant trees in your lawn then you gotta mow around them who likes mowing around obstacles not i Thing definitely does dig around in the corners. I see. I see why now they call it triplex ring. Yeah, I can see that. Going around these trees, it's going to pose a little bit of a problem. You've got to make like an eight-point turn when you're using this bad boy. Oh, that was a bad deal there. Ah, pretty next week, huh? 
Okay, so see over there, right there, you can kind of see where it's dark right there. That's where I kind of flipped a U-turn and these tires, the inside tire, it just eats up the turf. So you gotta be careful when you're making your turns, you gotta do those 11 point turns, so. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait just one minute, folks. I've got this all wrong here. Need to go back, wheels down, and go! So you know that phrase, enjoy the mower, that hashtag? That was coined by Alan Hayne, the lawn care nut. So I think I've got to figure it out why some people don't quote unquote enjoy the mow. And that, the reason that they don't enjoy the mow is because they don't have a good mower. So they're using your old granddad's push mower. That's the reason they're not enjoying the mow because they got a freaking crap hole motor or mower because they're like, oh, this cheap one looks good. But dude, in order, if you want to enjoy the mow, you got to get a good mower. And so by good mower, we're talking about a self-propelled unit, not one that you're pushing. You need to have a self-propelled unit like this Honda that I've got over here, right there. So if you have a good self-propelled mower, you're literally just walking behind it and it's a leisurely mow. But if you're out there struggling, huffing, puffing to mow the lawn because you're using a push mower, that's the reason people hate mowing the lawn because there's no enjoyment in that. You're pushing it. I mean, yeah, you're getting a workout, but screw that. Mowing the lawn is not for a workout, folks. It's for enjoyment and pleasure. So don't be trying to kid yourself thinking that you're gonna enjoy the mow with a walk behind push mower. It's just not gonna happen. So, like, do yourself a favor and get yourself a good lawn mower. Like, one that self propels, one that you can enjoy mowing with. So, if you're gonna use one of those push mowers, like that guy right there, just plan on hating it. Plan on it sucking. It's not going to be enjoyable. And you'll never understand the hashtag enjoythemow.com. Look at this guy, he's like, oh, look at that sweet lawn over there. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm doing it. So you'll make a comment, pal. This is fantastic, I tell you. This is, this is the quintessential enjoy the mow experience. You ask Ryan Knorr how much this freaking machine rocks. I'll tell you. So that's it, I am done. I mowed this in two different directions. It took uh, about two hours or something like that because I was being really particular on my stripes and trying to get the lines straight but you can see the stripes in this direction it looks fantastic and then i've got the stripes going on in this direction as well so i've got that checkerboard pattern that everybody wants basically what it boils down to is are you willing to put the time in to make it work and I have put the time into this lawn. Hopefully the weather is good tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday of Memorial Day weekend 2019. I wanna come out here and work. So I need to edge this bed right here and cut it to make it kind of look like something like this. As you can see, Memorial Day and the leaves are not fully out on this tree. I am so happy with this. As you can see, almost all of the snow mold damage is gone. So that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. I hope you guys had or will have a good Memorial Day weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next one.